Once there was a lovely lady who lived in a not nice flat in a not nice city where lots of not nice people lived. Her name was Mary Kate, which sounds like the girl from school who smelled like roses and cinnamon and unicorns. But our lovely lady didn't smell like this. Our Mary Kate smelled like sweet, sweet cigarettes and the cheapest wine she could find. The lovely lady had very pretty blue eyes and she would open them when she woke up at 6.30 in the morning for a job that she did not like. Every morning the lovely lady would watch the television and on the television was the Prime Minister. The ladies not for turning. The Prime Minister was a smart lady. A lot of people liked her, so that meant she must be very good at her job. The Prime Minister liked to tell people what to do. She liked to tell us what was so good about our lives. She liked to tell us that we should agree with her all the time because she knew everything. She liked to tell us that we were very rich indeed and how that meant we should vote for her all the time and people like her all the time after that as well. The lovely lady noticed that the very pretty famous people also told us what to do. They told us to buy their stuff because that's what they liked us to do. The men that sang songs were very good and they wore lots of girly makeup that made them look very special. The lovely lady wondered why it was okay for these men to wear girly makeup, but if a lad from Air Street wore it, he'd be given a wedgie by the lads that rob fruit pastels from the sweet shop and bootle. One of the things that made the lovely lady's life okay was the very handsome male person that she liked to have around her. They just have me here doing whatever I wanted to do. They should have just taken me out with you. No, you can't just do whatever you want to do and just expect me to be okay with it. And he would tell her that he wanted to touch her in very private places. But she liked to do that to him as well, so it was okay. Reed. Stevens. Looking for Sharp. And he got behind Lawrence and there did Sharp. What a fantastic goal! An unbelievable finish from Graham Sharp. They were madly in love and they were going to get married and be together forever. Which meant that they could do even more things to each other that would make them forget what a bad world they lived in. But sometimes the male person liked to go and do naughty, naughty things to other girls without telling the lovely lady. And she did not like that one bit. It was not fair that he could go and see other girls when she cared about him very, very much. Everybody knows that people don't like it when you care about them very, very much. They do not like it when you show an interest and so they stop being in love with you anymore. How to Turn Someone Insane by Mary Kate Step 1. Fill them with love Step 2. Leave Even though he was already a very mean man, the male person thought he would like to do something even more mean and he walked out in the girl's life and went to the London and became very, very rich. He could do this because the Prime Minister had done some very clever things that meant anyone could make as much money as they wanted if they lived in the right place and they knew the right people. Look at our economic performance. 
With those in work, we have the highest wages ever. He had lots of money and that made him very successful. He got a very pretty new girlfriend named Elizabeth and she was a famous model because when you have lots of money, you can get with people who are nice to look at. And by giving those involved in enterprise plenty of incentive and the figures are showing, record output, record investment, record sales, record incomes, low inflation and so on. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Because he had lots of money, he could have all the drugs and the cars and the ladies and the parties he wanted, which the lovely lady could not do because she lived in a poor place where people like to say, but money can't buy you happiness. The lovely lady liked to have dreams where she would pull the not nice man aside and throw him onto the train track on Lime Street. That would make him get electrocuted and she would laugh so hard that she got a six pack. <laughs> but this is not how lovely ladies are supposed to act. What would Mrs Prime Minister think if she saw the time she nicked some turkey twizzlers by hiding them down her knickers because she was very hungry and had no money to buy them with? Stealing turkey twizzlers from the corner shop is not a lovely thing to do. So did this mean she wasn't a lovely lady anymore? What if she was a nasty lady? That would mean it was okay for her to do nasty things because nasty ladies did nasty things. A lot of not rich people like to go to the pub at the bottom of Broad Street because it meant that they could drink drinks that would make them forget about their jobs that they did not like. What we're seeing is a working class dominated institution where at the end of the day, the average working class man can sink a well deserved pint as a result of his labours. It meant that they could enjoy their lives if they drank drinks that would make them laugh even if they wanted to jump out of a 12 storey window. The drinks meant that they could say bad things about their wives that looked like goats and their kids that looked like rats. They did not like to talk to goats and rats, so after the pub they went. One night, the nasty lady had a little walk and she went into the pub. But first she made sure she looked very sexy. Because people like to look at ladies who look sexy. Because it made them think they had a chance of getting into bed with them. Some of the people were very, very stupid because they had drank so many drinks. And sometimes they would let the nasty lady help herself. Oh, It was 
very lovely of some of the people to give the nasty lady their hard-earned money. Unfortunately, some of the people in the pub were scum. But thankfully, the nasty lady was there to put them in their place. She took lots of money at the pub that Friday night and it made her feel very happy <laughs> because money makes you feel very happy. <laughs> the next day the nasty lady had some very bad luck. Her job was no more because the boss said the clever prime minister's taking all the money out of the business so I can't pay you anymore. But the boss had a way that she could keep her job and that meant the nasty lady had to be his bitch. She said yes because we all know that men are supposed to tell ladies what to do because they know what is best all of the time. The nasty lady looked after the boss very well that night. She was sure he'd been treated exactly how he deserved in return for his lovely treatment of lady employees. I will never negotiate with people who use coercion and violence to achieve their objective. They are the enemies of democracy. They are not interested in the future of democracy. They are trying to kill democracy for their own purposes. The nasty lady got on a choo-choo train that cost a lot of money. She thought that she would go and give the man that used to be her man a very nice surprise.
What are you looking at? I've got business. You said that every night this week. If you're just gonna tease me, I might as well just go back. I can do more than just tease you. Is that so? <laughs> All the people were right. The nasty lady thought it felt very good to be famous. She would look very pretty in a mugshot. Maybe like a movie star. Or the Prime Minister. One day the lady would be in charge of everyone everywhere and they would all do as she said because that was a good thing. Oh girls just wanna have fun. <laughs>